Life during the COVID-19 pandemic has been uncertain. As the world reacted to changing circumstances, our sense of the future became foggy. I suspect each of us reached a point when we felt life would never be normal again. But what is normal after so much change? I remain concerned about those who might not have many connections outside of their congregations. I pray that worldwide, community members will continue to develop relationships with one another despite the physical barriers we face. From a global perspective, some nations are recovering from the pandemic. Others, like India, Nepal, and Haiti, are struggling to deal with continuing or surging COVID infections. The pandemic pulled back the curtain on inequities. For those without enough resources to cope, poverty and suffering surged. We must acknowledge, but not accept as normal, the inequalities that create such divides. Can we increase our awareness of those who still suffer and compassionately respond? Being keenly aware of the range of global circumstances is one of the primary reasons we decided to postpone World Conference until 2023. This decision gives more time to recover from the pandemic. We value equity and empathy for those still caught in the pandemic's grip. In places where the pandemic is waning, can we couple returning to normal with acceptance of new ways of being? It'll be great to resume familiar activities that bring meaning and joy. At the same time, movement to online ministries has created exciting possibilities. While some efforts were underway prior to the pandemic, many were prompted by it. Let's value this expansion of ministry. Disruptions that demand creativity are often experiences that produce renewal and growth. As we reclaim what was, don't abandon what can be. Let's have the courage to explore the uncharted landscape of ministry opportunities that the pandemic is revealing. While opening up church facilities is important, let's give as much attention to discovering how we are being opened up to the future-oriented work of the Holy Spirit. Practically speaking, I hope we will embrace equally in-person experiences and digital participation where technology allows. It's important to extend our fellowship by providing fresh and meaningful ways to form Christ-centered communities. Groups that place equal value on in-person and online participation will lead us toward the Holy Spirit's goal for us. God is not waiting for a return to normal. God calls us to discern the potential in the unexpected and to do something wonderful with it. We are accepting this challenge and we will emerge better than before as we journey toward Jesus Christ, the peaceful one.